I haven't done a live in a minute, so I hope y'all still out there in La La Land with me. Whenever y'all decide to get on here, I'll start yapping. I didn't uh, pre-market this live. I just decided to say something about something while I was driving. What's up? Um, you know, the title I got is Don't Sleep On This. Don't Sleep Up. Don't Sleep On This. So I'm driving, y'all. What's up? What's up? Kraus901. House of Lamar. Jacob C. Betty. Betty Ross. I man, what's up? What's up? Yeah, y'all. I'm still here. I'm still here. Um, I wanted to do this quick live real quick. Um, and the title was called Don't Sleep on This. And what I meant by that was, y'all know the times we living in. It's crazy. I didn't want y'all to fall asleep at the wheel though. Because, you know, I've, I've kind of shifted my messages to, well, my message has always been informational slash motivational slash safety, security, all that stuff. So I just do diverse informational videos. So it is what it is. But, but I want to make sure y'all don't get, go to sleep at the wheel regarding the times we're living in because, unfortunately... It ain't over you know they still they still got their little plans working in the background so just because it's sunny and it appears that things are lightening up or whatever or you know some people might not even see that might see it ramping up um, just stay on guard because they not done jacking with us yet so just know that keep doing your prepping keep doing your gardening keep doing everything that you are already doing uh of course do it in balance so you don't spaz yourself out you know and always take care of self first because just like the airlines tell you if the cabin loses pressure put the oxygen mask on you first then your child or somebody else because without you here you can't help nobody anyway so you got to take care of self. You got to get your health up. Make sure you paying attention to getting your immune system up. Make sure you using, you know, whatever you got. Vitamin C. Uh, you can be using chlorella, spirulina. You can be using a, a number of things. You know, uh, there, there's just a number of things that you could be using naturally. And if you get the liquid version, uh, it's going to definitely help improve your immune system because like I said unfortunately they're not done with their program so y'all got to be aware don't you know relax yourself when it's time to relax but when it's time to duke it out be duking it out and get this stuff done get your get your stuff in order as best as you can and um, it is always to be not premeditatively expecting the worst to happen but on your prep side, you, you always, the rule number one is be prepared for the worst case scenario, you know. Hopefully you don't have to use it for that, but just be prepared in that manner because they still, they pass plotting and scheming. They, they got the wheels or in action. Everything is moving. So make sure you're, you're aware of that. And they have, like Lisa Pearl Black said, balance is the key. So, um, you know, make sure that while you're prepping products keep be mindful of the quality of the products too be mindful of the different plastics they package it in because that's in the long term or in the long run that's the stuff that'll come back to get you later so make sure you're paying attention to the preps that you're utilizing and making sure that they are you know pay a little bit more for a higher quality than than a lot of quantity another thing make sure y'all getting those wild edible foraging books picked up while you can still purchase them uh, make sure that you're um, getting used to 
seeing food in the wild and recognizing it and then also sampling it or utilizing it as food right now because when you got to use it that's what's going to shock you you know you you'd rather be more confident in something you have to use because you don't practice or train to use it so start doing your wild edibles and go with the safe things like the dandelion and the, and the, the curly dock the stuff that i always talk about you know research that stuff and the white clover that stuff found in it I'm, I'm in another city right now uh in missouri and they got dandelion galore i mean dandelions coming out the curbs out the concrete is so much dandelion up in here so there's food everywhere don't let that don't let that spook you too much now it's going to come down to what you consider food what you think food is if you're talking about nutritional content and well-being stuff that food look different than feel good food i'm just telling you right now feel good hometown down south you know greasy grimy food that most people used to yeah when there's a shortage you ain't gonna be finding the stuff that you think is food so we got to start converting your thoughts over to what food really is and what it's really used for it really wasn't designed for your body to be entertained with food it really designed for your body to absorb the nutrients out of the food and that's what's getting everybody sick right now uh your body's depleted of new nutrients so don't fall asleep on this stuff stay up that's why i keep doing those motivational posts on the community uh part of the the channel to i hope i ain't bothering y'all but if so just unsubscribe you know i done lost some subscribers so I guess they tired of being bothered, but that's their business. I don't care. I'm doing what I'm called to do. So um, that's why I keep posting like that to, to remind y'all this stuff. Because that's the thing. You, you go to some training course. You learn how to do a new skill. You acquire a new skill. And then you don't use it. Then you lose it. Whatever you don't use, you're going to lose it. So make sure y'all using this stuff. Make sure we are not falling asleep at the wheel when it comes to the trickers are still tricking out here they tricking so don't be surprised when the trick hit again don't be surprised just be prepared you know and can we prepare for everything no but i'd rather be 75 percent than 12 i'd rather have 75 percent gasoline in my ride instead of 10 or 12 percent i'm sure you would too so um uh, that's what we got to stay up on, y'all. Stay up on information. Stay up on. But remember, that balance is critical because when your body get imbalanced, that's how you get sick. Any kind of imbalance um, or overage of any type of material in the body, even something good for you, if you get too much of it, your body will actually let you know that you got too much of something by shutting something else down or making you feel uneasy so make sure that balance is acquired and all of this stuff make sure that we're you got to intertwine balance into your activities not too much tv not too much this not too much that hell you could drink too much water and hurt yourself even something that's so good for you can hurt you too much of anything is too much so don't fall asleep at the wheel. Let's stay woke. Stay awake. I knew they I know they use that term loosely now and sometimes it means bad stay woke. What I meant by that was just simply stay up on game. Stay up on game and keep searching for overstanding and don't look for understanding, okay? Keep looking and searching for that. So so make sure that you stay up on game and People can't pull the double cross on you. Can't pull the blinders over you. Keep everything fresh. Keep everything tight. And make sure that you always take care of yourself first before you go taking care of everybody else. All right? So I'm just get off of here and jump off this video. I'm here to see my dad. And we're going to spend some time together. So I just wanted to drop that for y'all real quick. I'm still out here putting it down for y'all. 
I appreciate all of y'all. Hit the likes, hit the subscribe button. And uh, just know that YouTube is doing some, you know, some things are inaccurate with my channel. You know, so just make sure that y'all aware of that. If somehow you get unsubscribed, but you will subscribe, resubscribe. Uh, make sure that, um, you know, if you post a comment, I'm not taking nobody's comments down. So that's not me doing none of that. So just make sure y'all know that's not me. I want y'all's comments and stuff. So y'all keep it moving. Keep it real. Have a great day today. Um, I'll be back with some more video. Oh, check it out. So I'm going to do another video in just a minute. I got my Patreon thing set up. I just got to recheck some stuff, but I'm going to give y'all my Patreon link and whoever want to jump into that, that's where the juicy videos go. That's where the real major videos are going to be. You know, it's going to be major ridiculous up in there. So as soon as I get that fully, as soon as I make sure it's working accurately, so we don't have no hiccups, uh, probably by next week, I'm going to do another video and, and give y'all my Patreon thing. And, and yeah, you're right. I hear you, Toy Tarek. You, you're right. Absolutely right. And everybody's been telling me that um, because it's funny. Uh, you can have so many subscribers on certain certain uh, media things, but this one in particular, the one we're speaking on, and you can sit there and watch your subscribers start dropping off daily. Now, if I said something stupid on here, I would expect, and I do from time to time, people, you know, I, I ruffle feathers on here. So, I, I mean, it is what it is, but uh, I could see a mass exodus occurring when you say something, you know, controversial or whatever. But this has been like three or four subscribers a day keep dropping off. As people are telling me they're subscribing to my channel, I'm seeing the numbers come down. So that's stupid. But it is what it is. We know what's going on. It's all it's all the way they they like to get down. So um, I got you, Miss E, for sure. I got it set up, like you said. And um all I got to do is just check everything, make sure all the bells and whistles in there are working accurately before I launch it to y'all. But uh, then when we, we'll get down to some nitty gritty stuff on, on that platform for sure. So I hope all of y'all beautiful folks out there is having a lovely day and y'all still staying in the, the cut of things and still getting your stuff prepped up and still looking for that information that you need to navigate with i hope i'm helpful with some but i just want to restate keep your immune system up keep it up look one good thing you could do i'm gonna tell y'all a couple of things you could do real quick and y'all already smart as you know what so y'all already know some of this information but one thing you could do start taking some colder showers little cooler temperature on the water that'll boost your immune system instantly so if you run that for 15 minutes even though you don't need to take a shower that long but if you're going to boost your immune you use some colder cooler water something to give you you know make you wake up in the morning that'll boost your immune system um you get some uh, something heavily saturated with vitamin c um you need vitamin c every day pure vitamin c um if um uh if some of the um what's I'm, I'm trying to think of the one thing they use for ascorbic acid might make some people's stomach feel a little uneasy so research some different types of liquid vitamin c's and stuff that you can use uh if you are you know have a problem with ascorbic acid yeah sea moss zinc all that stuff but like i said be careful what you use for your body for your tent be careful don't use too many if you can find a cool liquid multivitamin multi um not even multivitamin but a multi-nutrient type of product that's pure they got the white paper with it to, shows you everything um that's in there and how effective it is and so on and so forth use something like a multi liquid multivitamin because or multi um nutri nutrient because you want a well-rounded you know uh intake of, of of all of these different nutrients be careful taking different pills and different things all through the day unless your body's used to that and, and can use all of that be careful doing that i like to use things that get straight into the blood uh that work quickly and also if you got a lot of beets growing in your area get in on some beet juice juice some beets uh chan robinson that's what's up uh fasting 
that'll boost your immune system too but get in on some beets or get you if you don't have a lot of fresh uh natural beets growing or you can't get a hold of them get somewhere and get some beet powder beets yo it puts so much oxygen in your blood um it's amazing and when you have more oxygen in your blood that's what kills a lot of different uh viruses and and different things that can hurt you later having a high oxygen intake in your blood is going to help you stay a lot more alert uh more energy and it's going to kill off a lot of things that could you know come to make you ill or something so yeah y'all know y'all y'all throwing out all kind of stuff so um y'all know that a lot of this stuff y'all listening on here right now is good for you so just make sure you stocking up on some of that stuff too don't just get into all the edible food stuff also get your nutritional side stocked up um your your natural pain relief side get into some research with which plants are naturally uh natural anesthetics and pain relievers and painkillers and stuff so that if the stores don't have anything you can go right outside and get you something you know what i'm saying nature got us but you got to be in tune with that too you better be getting in nature some go put your feet on the ground a little bit so you can get grounded to this thing because you're not you it's, it's just like throwing a, taking a fish out of water they they in a different pond now they in the air so they they can't flow like they normally are that's how we would be too so get your practice in with all this different stuff get, start using some of your preps and make sure that you also um prepping mentally that's the most important part prep mentally using what they already showed us they could do to the world all at the same time using that data and that information you can now start prepping mentally about what could happen in the future if anything happens so anyway i appreciate all the comments y'all know what's up out there man so um on this beautiful sunday because the sun is out so that's why they call it sunday uh, I'm gonna go enjoy some of this get in here with my dad kicking with him about to watch the game and uh, I wish all of y'all the bestest 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 I appreciate all appreciate all of y'all and uh, thanks for hanging out with me for these 17 minutes man this has been a blast once again um, Juan uh, if you're talking to me about are we still meeting on the weekend I'm gonna have to start I'm gonna reschedule that but let me get that data up on the patreon page and then we're gonna work some of those uh sunday meetings from there uh that way we got a steady stream of information going out to all the people at the same time because it just don't work that good on youtube but um y'all keep a lookout for my patreon stuff i'll throw that out this week i'll do another live and we'll throw that out and then yo we'll get on down the road with some things as long as it's a road to get down with okay appreciate all of y'all much love yo go do something else with the day send me some good vibes send me some energy some good like y'all doing right now appreciate you and we'll talk to you on the next one and this is major like as usual signing off for another kind of cool live video peace everybody talk to y'all soon thank you